Shalom, 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 shalom to the hopefully elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malachia. All right, coming in with another lesson today. Uh, this lesson, just, you know, sitting here, you know, in the parking lot and I'm reading, uh, you know, in the book of Proverbs and I got the, what, chapter eight and, uh, you know, was going into wisdom. So I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead, you know, go ahead and do a lesson on wisdom. Okay. Um, just wrote down a couple of precepts. I just wanted to bring a couple of uh, scriptures out going into uh, wisdom. All right. And how we should. Uh, 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 seek, all right, to, uh, to 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 keep wisdom, all right, with us, all right, and it's only going to be Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, that's going to uh, give you, all right, wisdom, okay. You ask for it, all right, the Lord will give it to you, all right, in due time, okay. He's uh, 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 like the scripture says, all right. Um, what is it? Uh, out of his belly, all right, shall flow uh, rivers. Uh, uh, no, yeah, rivers of living water. Okay, this this truth. All right, words. All right, this truth. The uh, the Lord is going to put the wisdom. All right, within your mouth. All right, and the people will be able to uh, to hear. All right, wisdom. All right, and wisdom it nurtures you. All right, just like a woman. A woman nurtures you. All right, this is that that virtuous woman. All right, that the book. Uh, the book of Proverbs talks about I'll be what Proverbs 31. All right. Uh let me get a couple scriptures out of that since we uh <clears throat> since I mentioned it. Let's get that right quick. All right, so it's the book of Proverbs. Uh huh, 31. We start at verse 3. It says, give not thy strength unto women, nor the ways to that which destroyeth kings. All right. So don't give uh, uh, your mindset. OK, don't give uh, even your physical ability uh, to to go after. All right. These other different strange women. All right. Such as these whores, these hardest that's out here. All right. You're walking around in, in, in this everyday life. But also mainly it's talking about these different philosophies, these different doctrines. All right. You don't want to go unto that strange woman. All right. You want to go to the woman. All right. That is uh, that the scriptures talk about and what in Proverbs 31. Let me get straight to the point. Oh, man. Um, it was a couple precepts that I remember. All right. Here we can start a verse. We can jump down a verse. 10. It says. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. And that brings on another uh, precept that I got lined up. All right. Because nothing can be, com uh, be compared. All right. To wisdom. All right. It says who can find a virtuous woman. All right. Who can find this virtuous woman. All right. That the scriptures talk about. All right. Who can find wisdom. Okay. You can't go and, and, and buy wisdom, okay? Nothing can be compared to wisdom. All right, wisdom has to be given unto you. All right, it says, uh, it says, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies, right? All these different elements, all these different rubies, all these different uh, uh, golds, uh, elements, all these things that, that are pure, things that are, 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 are scarce or even uh, uh, easy to come by. There's nothing, all right, on this earth that can compare to wisdom, all right? The price of her is far above rubies, as the scripture says. All right, and I got a quick precept over here in the book of, what's this? Uh, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, in verse 10. Let's start at verse nine. It says, they are all plain to him that understandeth and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. Right. Because the scriptures also talk about. Um, 
uh, seek ye, no, seek the kingdom. Uh, Salaki, how does it go? Um, yeah, uh, uh, seek the kingdom first, and all these things shall be added unto you. All right, so don't be trying to, uh, you know, finesse your way, all right, in this society. Don't be trying to, uh, come up some other way. Don't be trying to get the bag. Don't be trying to get yourself, uh, 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 what try to be like a millionaire here in uh, the states or even or any any place around the world? All right, you want to uh, attain and 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 hold close. All right, unto wisdom. I believe it's the, the scriptures in the book of Surat. All right, it says, um, "Put your foot in the fetters with chains." Let me get that right quick. Let me get that right quick. Lock you. Just jumping around everywhere. Um, man, where is it? Where is it? It's gotta be around this one. Oh, man, it says with the fetters. No, that's not just going back. Because I know the scriptures it goes into it says, put your feet with the fetters. And I'm on the phone right now, so I know it's in the book of Sarat, but we can go ahead and just get this one right here. This is the book of Sarat, chapter 6. I believe it's in the same chapter. That's not. All right, so this is the book of Sarat, chapter 6. We're going to start at verse 11. It says, Wherefore set your affection upon my words, desire them, and ye shall be instructed. Wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. All right. You're going to have to seek. All right. For this wisdom, you're going to have to uh, uh, ask. All right. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashai to give this uh, or this woman unto you. All right. This wisdom. All right. It says she prevented them that desire her and making herself first known unto them. Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors. Right, especially in the time we're getting ready to enter into. All right, you didn't uh, attain unto this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding in this time. All right, you're not going to dwell in the torment, says these people that, uh, that don't have wisdom. All right, these people are going to uh, suffer, all right, a great judgment. Okay? Because they did not seek out wisdom. It says, Whosoever seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors. All right? In his mind. All right? He's going to always uh, 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 hear, all right, that sound knocking, all right, on his, uh, on, on his mind. All right? In his spirit. All right? And wisdom is what is going to guide him. It says, To think, therefore, upon her is perfection of wisdom. And whoso watcheth her, watcheth for her, shall quickly be without care. For she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. That's what wisdom does. And these people that's out here, they are not going to, uh, uh, to be stable in that time when it comes. I see I got it written here, Isaiah 33 and 6. All right. And most of these people here, they don't have it, man. <clears throat> it says, verse 17, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline and the care of discipline is love. Okay. It says, and the love is the keeping of her laws and the giving heed unto her laws is as assurance of incorruption. And incorruption maketh, maketh us near unto the Most High. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. We're looking for the kingdom. All right. But in order for you to attain that kingdom, you're going to have to have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And how he's going to bestow this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding around to you. All right. We can keep going in, but, you know, I want to keep you know, making the lesson go out longer. I just wanted to bring a couple of precepts out too. Oh man, because it was going into a uh, far above rubies. All right, she cannot be compared to. 
All right, because there's plenty of scriptures that go into uh, wisdom. All right. Um, ooh, man, I don't want to make the lesson too long. Where was I with this one? Um, all right, let's jump back into uh, Proverbs. I had mentioned it earlier. It's the book of Proverbs 8. And uh, where was I? Oh, verse 10. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than gold choice. All right. Receive the instructions from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Bashai. All right. Like the scripture says, seek him. All right. Early while he may be found. This is the time to, to seek and to search out. All right. And get this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding. All right. It says, receive my instruction and not silver. So don't be going out here trying to get money. All right. Over uh, wisdom. Don't be trying to come out here trying to get a bag and, 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 and forge your life. Knowing that this place is getting ready to be destroyed. Seek wisdom. It says, for wisdom. Yeah. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. You need to get this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding, all right, before it gets too late to where it's going to be removed, all right, from this earth, all right? These people are not going to be able to dwell, all right, in the comforts that they have right now. Soon they're about to go through great travail because they did not listen, all right, to wisdom when it was crying out in the streets. Verse 11, for wisdom is better than rubies. And all things that may be desired are not compared to it. All right. Showing you the, the significance, the precious uh, 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 um, wisdom. All right. How how great it is and, and how it is so scarce in the world. They cannot receive it. All right. It says for wisdom is better than rubies. It's better than any type of thing that you can think of on this earth. It says, and all things that may be desired are not compared to it, all right? And that's really going into the, the true point of the lesson, all right? Nothing can be compared to wisdom, all right? We're supposed to seek and search out wisdom, okay? Especially in the times that we are in. <clears throat> it's the times that uh, we should, you know, speaking to myself first and foremost, keep seeking and searching out wisdom, all right? And know that wisdom is going to be with us, all right? Know that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is going to be with us in these last days, all right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And that's going to be our strength of our salvation, just roughly paraphrasing, all right? The Lord is going to be with us, all right? Because he's shown us that he's with us right now by bestowing, all right, this wisdom, all right? And he's been giving it to us liberally, Okay? So I just want to, I don't want to make the lesson go too long, but let's just go on into wisdom, how it cannot be compared to anything on this earth. Don't give up anything in this earth, all right, over wisdom, all right, because there's nothing on this earth that can be compared to it, all right? So, hey, I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you, sincere, and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant, Malachia. Shalom.